All right, in this continuation of objective four, we're talking about those properties of logarithms. Now we're gonna use those properties of logarithms to rewrite some logarithmic uh, expressions. We're gonna uh, either expand them out or condense them. And then we're gonna talk about this thing called the change of base formula. So on exercise 13, we're expanding out this logarithmic expression. Expanding means I'm going to take something that's compact and stretch it out using those properties that we talked about before. So, log base seven of, and then I have a quotient. I wanna take care of that quotient part first. And how do I take care of that? By subtracting the logs of the two divisors. So this should be equal to the log base seven of three x squared minus the log base seven of 5y cubed. Now we're not quite done yet because we can keep expanding out using those properties. Like for example, inside the first one, the log base seven of three times x squared, that's a product. And so we can break up the product with addition. So this becomes the log base seven of three plus the log base seven of x squared. Let's do the same thing on the other one, but I need to keep it in parentheses so I remember to distribute the negative sign. So, parentheses, log base seven of five, it's five times y to the third, so I'm gonna break that up as addition again, plus the log base seven of y cubed. All right, am I done yet? No, because I have exponents. I've got an exponent there and I've got an exponent here. And the exponents simplify as multiplication. So I'm gonna bring those out front. <clears throat> and uh, at the same time, distribute this negative sign through here. Hi. Hey, what's up? I'm, I'm almost done here and then we'll go around the block on your bicycle. So the log a seven of three plus, and I'm gonna bring that two out front two times the log base seven of x minus, now I'm distributing that negative through, so I don't need the parentheses, log base seven of five. And on this one, uh, I still have to distribute the negative sign, so the negative sign there. Bring this three out front. There's Rowan again. Three times the log <laughs> base seven of y. All right, now it's done. So if you get good at this, you can go straight from looking at the original problem to try to expand it all in one step. See if you can do that. See if you can get that good at these. All right, uh, here's one more of these just going in the opposite direction. So we're gonna condense this expression. So we're gonna take something that's expanded out and try to cram it all down into one single expression. And this basically uses PEMDAS. In PEMDAS, we have to do exponents before multiplication and division. So this is the part that I have to take care of first because the two times log, uh, natural log of five, that two is gonna come up here as an exponent. So this should be equal to, not L-O, the natural log of eight plus the natural log of five squared minus the natural log of 10. Okay, so now the first thing I'm gonna do, just the order of operations, I'm gonna do that first part first, and that's a plus. And that sum is going to condense down into multiplication. So this should be equal to the natural log of eight times, and then five squared, that's just 25. So I'm gonna write it as 25, minus the natural log of 10. Okay, so now I have a difference, and a difference condenses down to division. So this will be equal to the natural log of eight times 25 is 200 divided by 10. And then I'll just go ahead and because I can, make that the natural log of 20 when I divide. Look at that, I took this big old long thing and it just simplifies down to the natural log of 20. That's satisfying. All right, there's just one more thing on these logarithms, and that is the fact that when you try to put a logarithm in the calculator, logar the calculator's pretty elitist. It will only evaluate the log base 10, the common log, or the uh, log base E, the 
logarithm natural. Um, so what are we supposed to do about all the rest of them? So we're going to overcome this little bit of prejudice here by using a change of base formula. This is right down here, down towards the bottom of the screen. A, B, and C are all positive real numbers, and that B can't be 1, base can't be 1. So on the left-hand side, it says the log base C of A. C is the base that we want to get rid of. So for example, it's the log base 2 of something, and I can't put that in my calculator. So I change it into a base that I can put in my calculator, and that's going to be the B that's on the right side of this. The log base B of A divided by the log base B of C. Look at those letters and look at where they came from. On the top, the A is what you were originally taking the log of. And the C was the original base. And that's the easiest part to remember. What is on the bottom is the original base. So what you're taking the log of is on top and the original base is on the bottom. Base is on the bottom, it should be very easy to remember. So now in terms of just the two that are on the calculator, this is the way it looks. I've got the log base C of A, so C could be whatever base I wanted it to be, is equal to common log of A divided by the common log of C. Or in terms of the natural log, the natural log of A divided by the natural log of C. Now before we move on, let me ask you a question. Do I get to use the quotient property that we talked about before on these two things? And the answer is no, because in the quotient property, the, it would have to be the log of A divided by C within one complete log. So I can't do that. It is, the uh, quotient property does not apply here. All right, so let's use our calculator now to actually evaluate some logs that aren't base 10 or E. Evaluate the log base 6 of 24 using both common logs and natural logs. And I should get exactly the same number. So the log base 6 of 24 should be equal to, so let's do the common log first. You take the log of whatever you're originally taking the log of, so log of 24, divided by the log of the original base, log of 6. So let's pull that calculator up and let's do that. Okay. So, I just use my log key, the log of 24, close those parentheses, got to close it because you're going to hit divided by, and now log of 6. Look, there's that update again. Go away. And hit enter, and I get 1.7 blah, 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 blah. Um, what is that number? That's the exponent that you have to raise 6 to to get 24, right? Just witness this. Witness this. 6 exponent second answer. I get 24. All right. Uh, so let's do the same thing with natural logs. So with natural logs, this would just be the natural log of what I want to take the log of, 24, divided by the natural log of the original base, which is 6. In the calculator, natural log 24, 4, close the parentheses, divided by the natural log of 6, close those parentheses, and look, I get the exact same number. It's foolproof. Okay, so uh, that's a, a very handy uh, formula to be able to use. So you can evaluate any log on your calculator, even though it only has the common log and the natural log. All right, so that concludes our lesson on logarithms, being able to apply the definition. And remember, a logarithm, all it is, is an exponent. Finding the inverses of logarithmic and exponential equations. So whenever I write the uh, logarithmic inverse, it's an exponential and vice versa. Graphing logarithmic equations, it's easier to graph it the inverse, the exponential, and then just switch the x and the y coordinates. And then finally, we had a handful of properties of logarithms that we could use to simplify some properties. And right there in that guy's hand, those are Napier's bones. 
that John Napier guy, again, that we've talked about before, uh, the one who invented logarithms, he also invented this. This is basically a calculator. They're called bones because I, I assume that the first ones were just carved into maybe his kid's bones. His kid's bones? Mm, man, that's gruesome. Anyway, yeah, and he used them to, uh, well, they're based on logarithms. He used them to do calculations. So it's basically a calculator. Weird one, but yeah, there you go. So uh, here's your assignment, and I want to call your attention to, right down at the end, Being John Napier Project. And this project is based on, this last objective here, is based on the properties of logarithms. I think that you're going to enjoy it. It's, it's a lot of fun. Okay, uh, see you in class.